Hello, alright guys, welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z uh, Dokkan Battle video. We just got a JPD to download, and it came with a few big things. Uh, one thing is, of course, this new title screen, which looks amazing. It looks awesome. Uh, but you'll see this come in at the uh, intro here. Just let's play. Um, it'll look like this. So it's very cool. I think Blizzard's playing in the background too, so I'm not gonna use audio. Just in case I'll probably copyright strike it. But uh, yeah, it's no, it, it looks really good. Um, and then of course, the, uh, I guess I'd say two, but three characters we knew um, coming. Um, we covered this guy, this login bonus, and we'll get him a few missions rewards too for the um, anniversary free play unit. This is the new free play unit from the Freeze event, and this is the new uh, Beerus with Awakens. Um, this guy is 100% going to be the free to play LR for the celebration. Um, I think I already pulled him up right here, yeah. So he, he, easy age right away, okay. So he releases and uh, awakens. Man, not easy age, awakens, awakens, my bad. Uh, comes right here. And, um, yeah, 110 billion percent. Uh, with his stats, this guy is, um, he, he is, he's, he's the LR. Like, look, look. Yeah, he, he, he's the LR. <laughs> it's like, uh, confirmed. 100%. 110 billion trillion percent. I'll put the wages down, double down. Uh, it's him. But yeah, that'll be in here. And, uh, of course, this guy. He'll ease yay, um, tonight, actually. Yeah, for JP. So, tonight, uh, in the morning, 3 in the morning, uh, it'll drop. Uh, but yeah. And, of course, those guys are in game now. Or they will be. Uh, I know my bad. Uh, the 28, that's a live stream reveal. So they drop um, with the live stream, actually. Yeah, so as soon as it drops, the live stream hap open, like starts, these will drop. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so let's start off here. Um, I think I can show his. I can show his super tag from here, but his, for some reason, is going to a black screen, so. Um, yeah, but I can, uh, I can check out that here. It uh, should record. But as you can see, it, it's pretty good actually. He has a fairly good super tag. He's pretty clean um, for like what he is. It is just like an SSR, so like, yeah, it is quite good um, for his. Of course, Gogeta, his is like they just copy and paste the base Kamehameha and just put it in Gogeta in the background. But this is the same Kamehameha like every other card's ever used. But it's just like Gogeta doing it. And then I don't think this plays. Yeah, it doesn't play. Let me see, does is his play? His is just throwing around key blasts. Yeah, they, they don't. Okay, for some reason his don't work. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. So, let's hop in here. Um, I don't have, for some reason, like, the, uh, it doesn't translate to English here, so I gotta do this instead. Whoops. Um, but yeah. So, let's see. Oh, well, well, not. Do I have the. There we go. Okay. So, uh, Super Boss is 2 key and 30%. So, of course, like, he's he's probably going to EZA very soon. Um, his passive. Oh, actually, what's the passive called, actually? Let me look that up. Uh, it's just called New Leader. Okay, so New Leader Freeze. I guess that actually makes sense because that is the beginning of his new Freeze Force. Okay, so he raises his own key by one, he gets 80% attack and defense start a turn, and he gets an additional attack and defense up to 20% each attack, um, each time an attack is performed, up to 60%, and then all allies on the super boss category get one key, and when HP is uh, above 50%, he will launch an additional attack that is a medium chance to become a super attack. So not crazy, and I think this is just attack for one turn, so it should be a 30% raise. Yeah, raise attack for one turn, so uh, deal supreme, super, oh, deal super massive. Huh. Oh, that's a 430% what the fuck. I saw that on him and this dude, like what the hell, that's a, that's a really, really high multiplier you usually don't see on fucking free card. Not even like some of the cards get shit like that. Okay. Um he could be interesting depending on where they go with him, but that that's a big multiplier. Like his stats suck. Don't get me wrong, his stats suck. But if he gets some other bigger numbers, I mean 
he could be interesting, maybe, with the... Uh, because I'll probably easy hate in the celebration. I hope he not. I hope him and, you know, beers and stuff don't easy hate right away, because that way that makes him better at longevity. But, hey, we're getting easy hate too, apparently, too, so maybe not. Who knows? But, um, yeah, he is a baseline. He's, like, damn reduction guard or dot or something like that in there. But he is a base, and, like I said, with that, if they give a defense there, too, that could be interesting. Um, good jeez, I don't know actually what this leader skill is. Is this like movie heroes? Oh, what the fuck is- Oh! He's a nuker! Okay, so 90% of the heck defense per key sphere obtained. Okay, that makes sense now. Cause I saw that this is flat 90% and I was like, what the fuck is that? Okay. What's his uh, passive build? The ultimate savior. <laughs> nice, that is a pretty good representation. Um, like I said, I already went through these a little bit, but yeah, like, it's, he's the same, the fucking super massive, that's insane. Um, so he gets 99% attack and defense third of turn, uh, when there's an ally on the superhero or movie hero category on the team, uh, for each, uh, wait, oh no, so it's just, yeah, so when the superhero or movie hero is on the team, or on probably like, Participating in the day, so uh, um, in the same turn, for each uh, obtained key sphere, uh, increases attack and defense by nine percent during attack. So during on the super, and when obtaining nine or more key spheres, increases critical hit by ninety nine percent. So this sounds crazy, like on paper, but like <laughs> these are his stats, like. <laughs> This is what we're working with. Under just like okay, basically eleven thousand attack is what we're working with there, and then he is a pretty crazy um, super attack effect though. He gets twenty percent attack and defense for one turn. He deals super massive, which by the way is four hundred and thirty fucking percent apparently uh, to opponent, and gives himself dodge chance by nine percent. So, right now, I see he'll, he'll, he'll never fucking Dokkan Awaken, my bad. But, um, he doesn't have additionals either. Damn it, I thought he did. Okay, well, th theoretically, he's a Fizz unit. You go full additional. He can double super and get an 18% chance to dodge, just from his super attack effect. He gets the 20% attack and defense from super attack. He gets, of course, the 99% baseline. He'll change the key spheres, get 9% per key sphere additionally. And then he'll get, with 9 key spheres or more, he'll get 99% chance to crit, which is basically 100%. That 1% chance is like never gonna happen. If it does, like you're just fucking unlucky to hell and back, which realistically that would probably be me. But, um. And then, of course, if you do that, but like at this point, you're just better off running an actual, like, nuke lead instead of this, because that's just fodder. But, um, he's interesting, I guess. Like, it, he's really bad, but, like, there's there's a frame here. But these guys never, like, awaken, so, like, they're never, like, great. It's just, they're always, like, okay units. So, like, if you start the game, you can use them and, like, beat, like, Dokkan events and stuff. Which is, I think, is what they're going for. Um, this is... It's not movie bosses, so I don't know what this is. Planetary Destruction. Okay, Planetary Destruction, 2 key, 50%. Okay. And like I said, this is his TUR state. So he actually had, like, he had a decent TUR state, like, right, look at this. So, like, it's 2 key, 120% at start and turn. He gets an additional 10% attack uh, each time each time he's attacked, up to 60%. And then when obtaining 3 or more key spheres, he gets an additional 60% attack and defense. So this is right here. This is worded like the uh, Physical Beerus, or... Yeah, this is literally worded just like Physical Beerus, actually. So sort of with the stats we get. So, um, this will be a multiplicative buff, if, I, if I'm correct. Uh, hopefully this turns into defense as well when he uh, goes to LR. And, of course, this goes up to like 150, 170%, something like that. Um, and somewhere here, maybe with like 4 key spheres, he gets guard or I don't know 50% chance to dodge something like that would be useful and then his um he has that too what the hell wait do they all have super massive am I, am I, am I crazy no he just inflicts massive damage on the opponent and seals their seal super attack 
So these two do super massive for some reason. Why do they have such a high multiplicative super attack effect? And then he is, has massive. I mean, it was, it was just massive, right? There's no like attack or anything, right? Like massive damage, still super. It, am I crazy or is... That sounds... Wait, let me see. How is... Um... How is this worded? Is it more common than I think? Okay, so it's it's not actually that rare. So they... Why do, why do these free-to-play cards have it? Oh, it's... What? He was 470? Really? 600%, Jesus Christ. Wait. So what? what, what is his? damage he does tremendous damage what was his baseline where's the easy base what was his baseline here the tremendous as well okay never mind um that's weird man so I guess for some reason <laughs> They just gave them super massive damage and then gave him massive for some reason. Which I guess that actually just means... Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Massive is probably just a Japanese translation. It's probably another, like, um, like a synonym for, like, immense. So it's probably just immense damage. And this is, like, supreme or something. That's probably what that actually means. Yeah, that sounds more correct. So it's just the way it translated it. So this is the he probably has immense damage and these two most likely have supreme damage. Is what I'm uh what I'm guessing. But okay. Yeah, so it's like I said, they have a baseline here. There's something they could cook up. Oh, I didn't I didn't meant to check that actually. I meant to tell y'all, but like this guy has four defensive links here. <laughs> so he gets ten percent fifteen, he gets twenty percent defense from links too, so Take that for what you will. <laughs> um, it could be interesting. And then the last thing here, real quick, is um, of course the actual super bosses category, which is a uh, pretty doo doo. Uh, it's pretty pretty ass cheeks. Yeah, let's just go here. It's easier to look at. So um, yeah, this is what we're looking at here. So they did not include um. Dragon Ball, it's technically Dragon Ball Z, yeah, but uh, the movie uh, Beerus or Golden Frieza, because they technically were not in Dragon Ball Super, because those iterations in the game were from the movie, and not from the animated um, adaptation um, for Dragon Ball Super. So that's why those two aren't here, which does suck, 100%. But, um, that's why. So anything that's not in Dragon Ball Super doesn't, um, count towards this, uh, category. So it is limited in that regard, so... Like, any beers in Super would count, Zamasu's would count, Freezes would count, and stuff like that. So going forward and stuff like that, like, they'll be here, like, um... I'm trying to think. Uh, maybe the Golden Freeze of the Angel one that first appears, and, uh, fighting, um... You know, Baba, when he was revived over there, he would probably be here technically because he was a villain at that point in time. So something like that would work here for a Golden Frieza, but anything after that point really wouldn't. He'd be like a semi-antagonist. I mean, um, he'd be a, uh, a deuterogonist. An anti-villain, pretty much. Anti-hero, my bad. <laughs> uh, in, in that point in the story, he, um, the Tournament of Power, but... After that point, he really isn't like a villain per se. It's just after that he is like in Broly here. But um, yeah. So let's just go through real quick. Um, so you have these the new hit, which is good. This is the um, EZA support, 50% support. Uh, these guys. This is a just a troll. Um, Jiren, which is good because we can probably get an LR Jiren maybe soon. Uh, Rose, he's still solid. He sucks. He's okay. He's solid when he transforms. He sucks. Obviously, he's good. So this is a buff. Uh, they suck. She's good, but she needs help. Uh, he's okay. She's okay. He's okay. 
they're okay, he sucks, he sucks, he sucks, he sucks, he's okay, he sucks, he sucks, uh, sucks, 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 uh, sucks right now, sucks right now, sucks, sucks, uh, sucks, 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 uh, can be useful, depends on if you get cheek and cheese bosses, uh, sucks, uh, also, like I said, can be useful, just in terms of the orb RNG, sucks, 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 and that is everything. So, um, yeah, very, very small category, but, uh, I mean, you know, going forward, there's a lot of characters that haven't been, uh, adapted, and also the manga is still going on, so the anime, of course, has ended, quote-unquote, but it'll be returning eventually, but, so there's a lot of other villains that haven't been adapted yet either. So it, it'll eventually become a really, really good category. It's just like there's not much source to use, and there's not enough cards adapted yet to um, bring it in. But uh, for now, it is it's it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. it. It's a bad category right now. But um, eventually, like I said, whenever they adapt more stuff, we'll we'll see more of it. But um, yep, that is all for this data download. It's it's pretty big, pretty big um, data download here. But um, yep. So uh, get some information out. Um, we'll should be getting the um. Where is it? So the 28th at 11 p.m. Uh, our time, or my time at least, 11 p.m. my time, um, we will be getting the live stream into that Monday morning, and that's when these guys will come. So they'll become, as soon as that live stream starts, these three guys will drop. And then going into the uh, 29th is when the, uh, of course, the 28th, so Super Tech and all that shit, and then they'll drop the 29th. Um, that morning pretty much is when it happens but uh, that's what you'll expect uh, if i get any more information or we see anything else in the timeline i'll let y'all know but um yeah see that back and i hope y'all enjoy have a good one as always take care and bye guys